Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and late last summer, I decided I'd go for an e-bike ride before I had my trike around that great big field next to my son's property, <clears throat> and it was a longer ride than I thought it was, and it turned out to be the most boring ride I think I have ever taken, except for one thing. Let's listen in. Those guys practice shooting over there a lot. So uh, what I decided is <clears throat> we're going to go for a e trike ride, go over and find some empty uh, casings that my son in Washington State could, uh, could reload. So before we go, though, I had a question from a viewer who wanted to know how I mounted my flag <clears throat> on my uh, e trike and as you can see, I've got a brass tu little brass tubing there, and it's zip-tied onto the frame of that little basket on the back. <clears throat> and so that's uh, a pretty good way of doing it as far as I know. And <laughs> when, when my flag came off, it's because it broke at that red part there up above that when I went underneath of a bush, if you've watched that video. So anyway, that and then I get my brass tubing and stuff like that from Amazon, or you can get it at a local uh, hardware store. <clears throat> and uh, so that's how they come from Amazon. And uh, so that's what I use. And I hope that answers your question. I think I think your name is Stuart, but I'm not 100% sure with my memory like it is. So here we're in the drone. We're going to fly across this green field. And... Uh, find the other side where uh where i was riding when uh that guy started shooting <laughs> got it doing a shoot is uh target practice and they do that a lot and so i thought all right there's got to be a lot of casings uh empty casings laying around there that uh, i can pick up and my son up in washington state he reloads uh well i don't know what what caliber but you know he might be able to to use the ones that the guy was using uh, those that was a pistol but there's a lot of guys that come in there and and do a lot of shooting so anyway and that's where it is right down there that's where uh, i that's where the guy was standing when i uh made the video so we're going to <laughs> hop on the trike and we're going to go for a uh, e-trike ride and it's uh, several miles, actually. It's going to take, uh, I think it's going to go, going to take us about three miles. But don't worry, I'll try to cut out the boring parts. And then uh, they they put pipe underneath the road here last uh, summer. And, of course, after they filled in, well, then <laughs> the road got a dip in it. So every time I go over that, it makes the uh, makes the camera on the end of the of the rod bounce around. And so we're on our way, <clears throat> and uh, I hope you enjoy this this e-trike ride. 
I'm going to go. I, I, I uh, grabbed a shopping bag so I could fill it up with empty casings and bring it back home. And uh, my and he can clean them out. <laughs> and, well, I mean, I could wash them, but uh, they, they get them pretty clean before they fill them. So normally when I get to the end of that canal road, I make a right-hand turn and I go uh, on my exercise ride. But today we're going to make a left-hand turn so we can go through the gate and get inside of the uh, the property where the field is. And he used to keep the gates all locked up and closed, but he doesn't anymore. And so... Uh, uh, I'm trespassing, but I don't think I'm illegally trespassing because <laughs> he leaves the leaves the gate open. And a lot of other, a lot of other people uh, come through there, but that doesn't make it right. Anyway, <clears throat> so now we're on the the field property, and it's up there to the left, as you can see. And uh, so we came through that gate, and we're on our way. And this is gonna it's gonna go. We're gonna have to go. Uh, I don't know. About three miles, I think, before we even get to the spot where where it is. I could be wrong. Maybe it's only two. Now we're headed east, and now we're going to turn and head north along the uh, the far edge of the field. And as you can see, there's a, a barbed wire fence uh, along the edge of this of this road. And the barbed wire fence, we have to find a spot where we can get through to get into the the part where uh, I want to pick up the the empty cartridges. So, uh, I, and I, by the way, I went a long, long way because I missed it the first time, and I went on up this road about another two miles and then realized uh, I missed it. <laughs> so then I came back, started all over, and this time I came around the corner here hoping this was it. I wasn't even sure at this point if this was it or not, but... As it turned out, it is. And, of course, then we had to go back about a mile to uh, to get to the spot where he was shooting. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit because uh, I know you have other things to do <laughs> besides watch me ride my e-trike. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty fast. <laughs> that's twice the speed. So that I'd get there twice as fast. And then as I came along through here, I could see that it was looking real familiar. And uh, I was hoping this was it. And sure enough, there's that tree with the, with the ring around it, where the uh, car's been going around it and motorcycles and things like that. So here we are. Now I'm, I'm excited because I'm going to, be picking up some uh, some empty casings. Now, you notice I have a camera on my hat. So in the upper left hand corner here, uh, that's what I'm looking at as I'm walking around. And you keep your eye on that, and you'll notice that <laughs> I'm not finding very many uh, shell casings. But I thought, well, maybe they do the same thing that my son in Washington does. And uh, so probably all the shooting that they do, most likely, they pick them up and reload them. But I decided I'm going to look around and see if I can find any at all. And this is probably the most boring part of this video. Maybe not, I don't know. But it was fun for me. I enjoyed walking around out there, looking and looking. After riding all those miles, I decided I'm just going to get out and take a look. And there's that, that, that rock there that I'm coming up to. You can see that it's been shot a few times. <coughs> It's it's a uh, it's been a target once in a while, and then they have that uh, that mark of 25 meters. That's 25 meters from somewhere back here where where the bike is parked. 
And by the way, the the, the 360 camera, uh, <laughs> it's coming in real handy for a lot of fun stuff like this. And then, uh, oh, look at there, a shotgun shell. <laughs> I found something, a smash shotgun shell. That was pretty exciting. In fact, I pulled out my uh, my shopping bag and said, well, if that's all I got to take home, I'll take something home. So it was smashed, but anyway. There's just nothing out here. They picked up everything that could be reloaded. And of course, this I shouldn't, I should have cut that part out. I had a runny nose. My dad, he always had a runny nose, and I guess I got it from him because I seem to always have it. So I learned a long time ago to carry a handkerchief in my back pocket. Yeah. As you can see, there is not much to find. Ah, look at this one, it's not smashed. Wow, what a find. I found a really nice one. Look at there, some more. How about that? I don't know much about shotgun shells, whether you can reload them or not. All right, so anyway, <clears throat> I cut out a lot of the really boring stuff, and I got my baggie full of shotgun shells. Oh, and I also found a few little 22 shells, because you don't reload those. <laughs> and so when I got home, I dumped them out on the concrete, and that was my reward for going for an e-trike ride to find some empty casings. <laughs> and I found some empty casings, all right. Anyway, that's it. That's my uh, story. I'm sticking with it. I want to thank you for watching the video. Have a Merry Christmas, and God bless.